A little bit cloudy, a little bit foggy today. We've got lots to do. First things on the list is this wheelbarrow because last year these tires fell apart completely. Look at these things and uh, are no longer useful. So I had to buy new ones. But I bought that wheelbarrow on sale. It was a hundred bucks and that was a good deal at the time. Unfortunately, the wheels don't last. And when you got to buy new ones, they cost 50 bucks a piece and it needs two because it's easier to push around a wheelbarrow with two wheels rather than one. Hello, Mo. Would you like a carrot? There you go. She's getting a little bit better at eating carrots. She doesn't just chomp them out of my hands anymore. Hello, Yo-Yo. There you go. She's especially good at it. Just one. Let's go give some other horses some carrots and we'll talk a little bit about what's going on and the other task of the day. Hello, Annie. How's it going? Would you like a carrot? I have a nice, good, chompy one for you. <laughs> you got a little bit of hay in your mane. Okay, moving on. Hello, Lena. You would like a big, chompy carrot? Well, that is crunchy. These carrots seem to be especially crunchy. I don't know why. Sometimes you get them and they're really crunchy, and other times they're kind of, I don't know, not as crunchy. I can't even explain it. Hello, Mr. Wild. Why are you in here? Is it because you're a good horse or a bad horse? <laughs> Those carrots are so crunchy. It's crazy. He's a bad horse. That's why he's in here. He's back in his old paddock. Unfortunately, he is very rambunctious and him and Luke, well, they lived together up until recently when Mr. Wild busted the fence between them. Oh, that's just a little one. I'll have to get you another one later. <laughs> crunch, crunch. So, what happened was there used to be a fence here in the middle and originally there was no fence here and there was no fence here because the horses that were in here got along great but when you put in a couple of horses that cause a lot of trouble or don't get along that well then you just we put in a little fence here and as you can see it's on the ground it's gone and this is all cleared out so right now Luke has all this space but we've got to figure that out so I got to think about what I want to do there but for now that's the way it is, and it's fine. These two here are <laughs> waiting on carrots. Everybody else is crunching, right? There you go. Good job. Hello, Roni. Why is your butt covered in hay? Says, don't talk about my butt. Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of hay, probably from lying down. So yes, lots going on, lots of uh, bits and pieces going on after we had our winter frost and then that snow and then we had a deluge of rain and of course all the branches are still sitting here because it takes time to clean things up. Anyways, let's go talk about the next thing that needs to get done around here today. It's a very big deal and happens once every few months. <laughs> We've got to deal with a particular problem. Look at the pond too. All these leaves that kind of gather in here, it's not really a big deal. It does make for a natural environment from the willow tree, but I think I want to do a little cleaning. I didn't plant these guys. These cedar trees just kind of grow on their own. I've left them because I think it's kind of cool and natural. But I'm not sure if they'll become an issue, so... Sounds like a problem for future me. Okay, it's morning, so we've got to do some feeding of horses, but we have an issue. We are currently on our last two bales of hay, uh, um, along with this bit and this pile of stuff. But... <laughs> Hello. As you can see, our hay loft is completely empty. So that means we need hay. And I have never run this low on hay before. The problem is, here in the Lower Mainland, we don't make a lot of hay. A lot of hay kind of gets consumed pretty quickly, so we bring it in from the States. But as I mentioned earlier, the 
freezing rain and the freezing snow and the freezing roads and the freezing everything has caused a lot of delay in getting hay in. Hopefully today the hay comes. I have got a message this morning that they're coming this morning. My hay guy is usually very reliable, so I'm not really worried. But being down to the last two bales of hay genuinely has me worried. It's good hay though. We're all good. This is more than enough. We've got a little bit here to go out to everybody who's waiting right now. On a side note, we got some new hay bags finally. Look at the color of these things. Super bright green. Very brand new. This is a slightly older one. And then all of my really, really bad ones have been dumped over in this corner to be thrown out. But as you can see, they are just riddled with hay bale twine. And in turn, the horses just bust them open anyways. So you got to get new hay bags, which uh, is a bit of a pricey endeavor. Each one of those is like 70 bucks, but they last a couple of years. Well worth it. OK, let's get these guys fed. We'll clean this up. Get uh, everything ready for the hay guys to come, and they're going to be coming from there in hopefully about an hour. So let's get the horses fed. Oh, hello, Mo. How's it going? Okay, there you go. Coming through. Hello, yo yo. All fed. Moving on. Hello, Annie. Okay, there you go. Now we just have to grab the cart, do the rest. Hello, Lena. Oh, birds sound nice. Okay, Lena, there you go. Hello, Mr. Wild. You ready for some food? Okay, there you go. Later, buddy. Hey Luke, what are you doing? There you go buddy, all fed. It's weird, I still feed them in this shelter here, but I could feed them over there if I wanted to. Hey man, how's it going? Okay, that's enough. Moving on. <laughs> hey, butt. There we go, last one. Hello, Gracie. How are you doing? I don't have any carrots. You want a shoulder scratch as well? Yeah. Whew. That's a lot of push. Let's go say hi to Roni and his hay butt. Hey buddy, how's it going? You've got a lot of hay up here. Maybe we'll just leave it. It's kind of cute. Well, that is absolutely the lowest I've ever been on hay with half a bale left. All the hay bags are done. Some people ask me why I have such large hay bags instead of the smaller ones. And the easiest answer I can give is that they're so much easier to fill. When you have a large hay bag like that, it makes no difference to the horse. It actually makes a difference to us because they're much, much easier to fill than those little small ones that they sell for cheaper. But in the end, it makes life easier. It's good for the horses. It doesn't really make a difference. And you can fit more in if you need to. Okay, next task is to do this wheelbarrow, it has started to rain. What a surprise. No surprise at all. Look at this weather. So this is a quick fix. If you've never fixed a wheelbarrow before, the wheels, they really just go on the axle and you call it a day.
<laughs> All right. Like it's brand new. And this is a really good wheelbarrow because it's really, really big and can fit a lot in it. So it saves time. All right. Well, the rain has started to come down as expected. It's not supposed to go on for very long. And my hay guys are supposed to be here pretty soon. So now with this all cleaned up, the ladder's in place because up until now we use hay bales just to get up because it's easier. We're ready to get some hay in here and we really need it because that's really empty. Oh, look at that. Here they are. The hay guys are here. Okay, let's get some hay loaded in and then I don't have to worry anymore because it's stressful not having hay. How's it going? Oh, it's so nice to see this hay come into the barn. Come off of the truck, into the barn. So fill it up. And now we have a full barn of hay. It is so refreshing and relaxing to know that we've got hay for quite some time. The quality is fantastic. We've got Timothy hay here and it is quite nice. It's got a bit of coarseness to it and a bit of leafiness to it, which is just right. We don't want it to be all leaves and we certainly don't want it to be all stems. So this hay is fantastic quality. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but the company that I get it from is First Choice Hay here locally. And they do a fantastic job at finding the best hay that I think that I have ever seen. This is definitely kind of like an eight out of 10, he was saying, and I agree. I think it's closer to a nine. It is really good, but nice and full. We've got hay for a long time. Horses are happy. The weather has improved. We've got a little bit of blue going on. So we'll see what the rest of the day brings, but uh, got to do a little bit of cleanup now. We've got our wheelbarrow all fixed up. So that's really good. All right, so that is a very productive morning so far and it is still morning. So we've got a lot more things to do today. Let's we'll see if we can't get the horses out. I might make a separate video for that. See how it goes timing wise. Still lots of chores to take care of. But hopefully that has been a little bit interesting. I think it's really important to get good quality hay for horses. I know a lot of people tend to kind of skimp and that's due to costs. Again, this stuff is not cheap. The thing about buying sort of higher priced hay for the horses is that it is more cost effective. What we're getting is usable hay out of probably 95% of a bale. And in turn is gonna be, if that's consistent across all the bales that come in, cause I don't know how many, I think this is close to eight tons of hay. And that comes across the tonnage of hay as well, compared to some that come through and maybe half a bale here is no good, quarter of a bale here is no good. You end up wasting a lot of money. So you might pay less, but you get less hay out of it, which means you end up paying more. And in the case of these ones, we pay a little bit more, but all of the hay is useful. There's no waste that kind of comes about it. And then it's just good for the horses, really good for the horses actually, they love it. He was saying how one lady was complaining that the hay he brought was being eaten too fast for the horses and she wanted crappier hay so that it would eat slower. But that's not how I see it. I definitely want my horses happy and fluffy and eating really well and inquisitive and hello Annie. You are so gosh darn cute. Look at her. She says, can you give me a scratch somewhere? Yeah. So that ends this one here. Hopefully that's been a little bit interesting learning about the hay and the process that we go through. And honestly, I can't believe we made it to the very, very, very last bale uh, for all the horses, but now we're chock-a-block full. So it's good. Whatever it takes, take care of the horses. So I will see you guys in the next one.